today's video we're going to be looking at the blur tool and as you expect from the name the blur tool adds blur to your image now there's various filters that we've got that determine what kind of blur is created we have box we have Bartlett we have multi box where you can set the number of passes we have Gaussian and we have fast Gaussian which is the default now the best way to see these is if we actually have a background and we've got that background at 10 pixels by 10 pixels and then I've got a rectangular mask which is masking off one pixel what we need to do is to make sure that we've got smooth resize switched off and I've taken the check and underlay off so we can see black and we can see it a little bit better Pop the blur tool in the viewer and when we come into the actual blur tool in the inspector we can have a look at the different let's bring this up to 100 box is a really simple box blur Bartlett is a more advanced slightly rounder softer blur multi box is still a fast blur but it gives you the opportunity of increasing the number of passes so this is a more advanced blur as always though in real life these filters come with a trade-off between blur quality and speed but in many cases it might just be sufficient to use the box blur you can also have different x and y blur sizes and the clipping mode determines what's rendered and what's the day, domain of definition so we're just going to come up to the three dots come to region which on the domain of definition then we can see it the clipping mode determines if the blur is limited to the extent of the frame which is the default the domain or let's just set this blur size to a thousand and although the viewer looks empty if we hover over here we can see there's actually something going on because we can see it in the color information at the bottom but if we select none then what we find now is the domain of definition is minus 11 minus 11 to 21 21 this is comparably small coming from a 10 by 10 image you can see clearly that there's a huge blur size with no clipping and this leads to at least nine times the memory consumption of the original image so working on 4k material might be quite huge so use the non-clipping mode with caution so that's it for today's video about the blur tool thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day